And we're back. Tell us who you are and what movie you worked on. My name is Emily Singer, and I produced Unrest, and I wrote and directed Six and Stones. So two different films. Yes. Okay, so first tell us about Unrest and what that's about. Unrest is kind of a love story, um, but a dark one. It's about a childhood or child star actor that's dating an up-and-coming actress who's very prevalent on social media and he's kind of washed up and not um, getting any roles and it's kind of how the two clash. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a twisted love story in Los Angeles. Okay, and is that a script that you received that you produced? Yes, I okay. received the script and produced it. What made you take a chance on that script? I liked the concept. I thought it was really like timely and prevalent with what's going on today with cinema. Um, and I just thought it had a good a good message. That's great. And so the other film, My this film. one you you wrote yourself, you yes. directed, you said as well. I wrote and directed Sticks and Stones. It's and what's Sticks and Stones about? It's about a weekend between two 20-somethings that results in the girl coming to terms with a past trauma. So it's told through the lens of this really kind of beautiful mini love story. Um, two people who don't really know each other that well, but really connect mm -hmm. and have a great time together. But also it really, the relationship kind of forces her to reconcile with her past. Mm. And so as a writer, director, selecting actors to tell a story that is yours, I'm sure was kind of hard. At what point did you feel like you found the right people and why? What did, what did they do to convince you? It's funny, I, I met Bella, the actress, and I felt like I had like unconsciously written it for her. Like we met in a very organic way. And when I met her, I was like, You're per she's perfect for the role, I hope she'll do it. And mm -hmm. she did, and before that I hadn't really, I was casting, I hadn't really, found anyone I was super interested in. Um, and then the guy in it, Jose, was in an episode of television that I had written. Okay. And he was so fantastic that I just remember being like, he's perfect for it and I hope he'll do it. And I don't really take no for an answer very well. So uh -huh. I had to be super convincing. So as a director with actors and you haven't written it yourself, what do you think was the most challenging moment in, in the process? I think it's really challenging to do something in a very minuscule amount of time. Like you only have, I shot in two days, mm -hmm. which was definitely posed as a challenge. And I think just as like a first time filmmaker, being like confident with my choices and my decisions. And I feel like the most established directors aren't all, like you have to just make a choice and be decisive. And I think mm -hmm. I did that and that's why it is the way it is. And do you feel proud about both yeah. of the films that you're showcasing yes. today? Yes, very proud. <laughs> My film, you know, it's the first thing I've ever made, so I feel Congratulations. like... Congratulations. Thank you. So I feel like, you know, I'm really proud of it in that sense, and then Unrest I'm really proud of being a part of, definitely. Wow. And the director was awesome, and it's cool to, like, stand by another director, too, right. because I direct, but being able to, like, watch somebody else do it and, yeah. and respect what they're doing is cool, yeah. too. That's fantastic. Well, uh, congratulations to both the films that you're bringing to Miami Short Film Festival, and we look forward to watching both. Thank you. Thank you.